What's going on you guys? So we ended up going to the Moore Park Zoo, which was awesome. I loved it. I would love to go back. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a beautiful, beautiful park and zoo and college. Stay tuned. American alligator, bro. Please go ahead and make sure that everything in there. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to America's Teaching Zoo. Everyone you see here today working with and presenting animals is a student in the Exotic Animal Training and Management Program. All the proceeds from today's ticket sales will go directly to the care and feeding of our animals and the education of our students. Right now, please welcome two of our top student performers. Let's have a big round of applause for Andrea and Alana. Look 
around for some okay. food and take a nice nap. He is full grown and they do not live together, but they do live pretty close by to each other. Right, thank you, Orville. Bye, Orville. Our next special animal you can see up flying in the sky, even around here. They have big, huge, silent wings and long, sharp claws. Does anyone else guess what that is? Oh, oh here she is. So Isn't here she we beautiful? have Serena. Oh she is God. our great horned owl. Hey, you know, there's a whole bunch of them by the house. So and one she, thing that Serena uses to get her prey are going to be those big, long claws on her feet. Them. As you can see, they're them. very sharp so that she can grab her prey and also she can, so she can balance herself up in the tree. So actually, Serena, owls and hawks and falcons are all what we call birds of prey. And we call them that because of the way that they do catch their food. And just as Alana was saying, that is with them. So you will notice that all hawks and owls have different sized talons but they use those swooping hey. down onto their yeah, prey and catching them with those yeah, wonderful yeah. As Alana was saying, owls are extra special in the sense that they have a very distinct feather shape that gives them silent flight. So I don't know if any of you guys have heard a feather, an owl feather batting in the wind or watched those videos online where it's complete silence as it flies over you. No one knows what is coming when the owls see you in the night. <laughs> Another great feature that owls have to help get their prey are going to be those eyes. So owls' eyes are actually very special. They can turn in their eye sockets like ours can. So one way that we can visualize this is by having put up your hands like this, like little binoculars, and this is how they look around. Yeah. So that's why they're able to turn their heads so far around. This is also because they have so much more vertebrae in their neck. Most mammals and vertebrates have about seven vertebrae. I think they have about 12. So out in the wild, uh, owls normally feed on like rodents and small mammals as well as oh. eggs from other birds and really small birds. Here at American Rescue, we feed her pop and I believe she also gets mice. And Devin can tell you what her favorite thing is to eat. Wait, what? Chick, she okay, loves chick. that it's chick. So chick is Serena's favorite okay. thing to eat here at American Zoo. I'm sure you guys have noticed her little horns on top of her head. Now those are not actually horns. They're just little tufts of feathers that can help her hear better. Oh, where'd it go? That is also where they get their names, the great horned owls, because they have little horns on their heads. It can also be used for protection against predators because it can be seen as um, like predator ear, as a cat. So something will see that and think that it's a cat and they won't want to eat that. Hey, baby. Hmm? No, yes, I like bubble. And just as Alana was saying that they do look like ears, but they are not white ears. But she does have ears, they're just covered by feathers. And they are right on the sides of her head, just like our ears are. So, Serena here is also nocturnal, which means that she spends most of her hunting time in the dead of night, just as all the animals who are trying to escape the heat are coming out. 